Hey everyone. So in this video, I'm going to show how to set up a RAID 5 drive on a uh, Windows 2012 server. Uh, we'll use our server we have running here in Hyper-V um, that we've been using. So the first thing you want to do is right click on it and go to settings. Uh, so that way you can add some drives to it. So right now I only have my, uh, my OS drive, my C drive on here. So you can see under add hardware, it doesn't show a disk. So what you have to do is come down here and select through your SCSI controller, and then it'll give you the options to add some disks. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna add three disks because uh, with the RAID 5, the minimum you need for it is uh, three. So we're gonna set hard drive, say add, and then we'll say uh, it's got the SCSI controller, and we'll just say we're gonna do a new uh, virtual hard disk and it'll open up the wizard here. So we'll just go through the wizard next. We'll go ahead and do a dynamically expanding disk next. Uh, and I'll name this one, we'll just name it uh, R5D1, uh, so RAID 5 disk 1. Uh, next, uh, we'll make this uh, 10 gig disk here. And remember, the bigger you make this, the, uh, the longer it's going to take to format it as RAID 5. So uh, just be careful if you use uh, too big a disk. Uh, so uh, that's the first one. Next, and we'll say finish. So what I want to do is just go through this and... Um, create two more because we're going to need three of them. So we'll add another hard drive. I'll go through this one pretty quick here and we'll say uh, R5D2. Uh, next, 10 gigs again. And when you're dealing with RAID, remember one third of your disks are going to be used for parity. So uh, we'd think if we pile all these together, we'd get a 30 gig drive or 29, something really close to that. But Really, we're going to get about 20-ish or a little less because a third of it's going to be parity uh, used for that. In case a disk fails, it can uh, rebuild it. So uh, let's, whoops, too far. Last one here. R5D3. All right, so we have all our disks created here. So, all right, so you can see our three 10 gig disks that we have on there. So I'll go ahead and apply that and hit OK. So now we'll go into the operating system here. I'll just say connect. So we have it back there and I'm gonna go ahead and close out uh, server manager. So what we need to do now is to go into disk management. So just right click on the start square down there and choose disk management. All right, so you can see uh, it just shows our C drive and then our like boot partitions and stuff. Uh, so our C is up to 150, but if you scroll down, you'll see those other three disks down there. So those are uh, listed as unknown disks, the 310 gigs. So what we're gonna do is we'll right click on this square here in the first one and say, you know, bring this online. Uh, so I'm gonna do that on all three of them, bring them all online. And now we'll go back to this first one. And again, in the square, right click and say initialize disk it'll say you must initialize. At this time, it gives you the option to do all three. So I'll let it go ahead and initialize all three disks. And I'll go ahead and say this one can be GPT disks. We're not planning to put a C drive uh, where we need a boot on this. So hit OK. <clears throat> and you can see in here, all three of them are now, you know, our 9.97 gigs unallocated. So now if you right click on one of these disks here in the, in the unallocated section, you can right click and say, it'll give you some choices here. So uh, what we're gonna do is a RAID 5 uh, volume. So say new RAID 5 volume and it'll open up that wizard here. So if you say next, uh, it'll say, okay, which disks you wanna use? So it's only got the first one in there. So we really need to go ahead and click on these others and say, you know, let's add them into our array. We want all three of these to, uh, to be in the array. Um, so we'll say next. And then we need to give this a drive letter. So E is fine, whatever letter doesn't, doesn't matter, E is fine, next. Uh, and then it gives you some other choices here on, you know, file systems to use, uh, allocation size. I'm just going to leave the defaults, but we'll go ahead and give it a label. We'll call this our, uh, we'll call this data. We're going to put a bunch of data on this. Um, we'll say, go ahead and do a quick format. Um, we don't need to do folder compression next. And you can see from the wizard, it's going to do the volume uh, as a RAID 5. So let's hit finish. Uh, and it says, well, it will convert these basic disks to dynamic, uh, which, which is fine. You won't be able to install operating system, you know, except the current boot volume. Are you sure? Yes, that's fine. That's what we want. So just say yes. And then once we say yes, uh, this will start uh, 
formatting the disks here. So you can see uh, it's marked them this green color here to kind of signify, you know, you can see at the bottom that this is a RAID file, five volume, uh, and it's going through and synchronizing all the data, uh, you know, the formatting on the disks here. So almost done, there you go. So now it shows it's healthy. So you can see this thing gives us a RAID 5 disk. And like I said, so in, we have three 10 gigs, but you only get to use 20 gigs, which the system uses a little bit for itself. So it's a little bit under, under 20 gigs uh, that you actually get to use from that. So but there's your RAID 5 and you can see it in um, server manager in uh, your Windows Explorer. I mean, if we just open this. So now I have a data drive, my E drive, it's just the one drive it made, it combined all those three and it just works like a regular disk drive. You can create stuff in it, you know, et cetera. In it. So that's it for how to create a RAID 5 drive on your uh, server 2012. Thanks a lot.